The 2010 Harley-Davidson Street Bob is injected with attitude. You don't ride around on a bike with your arms hung high gripping factory ape hangers and your body curled up on the bobber solo seat, legs tucked in tight on the pegs of mid-mounted foot controls without feeling like a rebel. Harley has kept the design of the Street Bob clean and simple with bobbed fenders showcasing the black, steel-laced spoke wheels with Michelin Scorcher tires. And while Harley is known for slathering its motorcycles in copious amounts of chrome, the Street Bob comes from the other side of the tracks with the blacked out treatment on its engine heads and primary cover teeming with the toned down hues of its flat blue paint. The blacked out treatment extends to its tank console, battery cover, and runs down its chain guard. This bike is full of the V-twin character that other cruiser manufacturers try to replicate. At the heart of the motorcycle is its air-cooled Twin Cam 96 engine, and even though it's rubber-mounted, the bike is full of vibes at idle that fortunately dissipate once the bike gets rolling. With a fairly smooth torque curve that peaks out at 71.32 pound-feet at 3100 RPM, the 1584cc engine is surprisingly peppy and has no difficulty launching the 658-pound fully-fueled bike off the line. With its 19-inch tall, 100mm thin front tire raked out at a modest 29 degree angle and a fairly slim 160mm rear tire coupled with a relatively low 26.7-inch seat height, the Street Bob is extremely agile for a cruiser. It transitions well and definitely came through in our cruiser compare as the nimbler of the motorcycles in the test. Triumph has taken a different approach with its 2010 Thunderbird. Where the Street Bob sports a darker, more sinister image, the Thunderbird is dressed up with machined engine heads, chrome covers, and a more polished disposition. The shiny chrome treatment extends to its tank mounted console, chain guard, shock mounts, and reflects in the big pipes that streak down both sides of the bike. And while Ergo's on the street bob squeezes riders in around the narrow tank, the rider's triangle on the 2010 Triumph Thunderbird opens things up with its broad 5.8 gallon tank and forward mounted foot controls spread riders legs out and the standard situated bars bring the reach down and out as well. The Thunderbird we tested sported a racy white stripe down the middle of its tank and its torque filled parallel twin echoed those race bred sentiments. The twist of the throttle unleashes a big surge of power from the 1597cc twin that tested out at 91.01 pound feet at 2700 RPM. The Thunderbird hooks up impressively and provides an accelerating ride for a cruiser, but the parallel twin does dole out a noticeable buzz at the bars as RPM increase. The extra power of the Thunderbird is needed because it tips the scales with a curb weight of 754 pounds, almost 100 more than the Street Bob. The extra weight and its 200 millimeter wide rear tire means it requires a little more effort at the bars to initiate a turn, but once in a corner, it is very stable. The Thunderbird gets the nod in the braking department though, as its dual 310 millimeter floating discs have a strong bite. So who won the war in our cruiser comparo? You'll have to read to find out.